Baby, you don't know what you do to me Between me and you, I feel a chemistry I won't let no one come and take your place Cause the love you give Hey girl Hey, I don't know what's wrong with my eyes today They're so red, like strange Anyway, they actually look swollen, like what's wrong? I don't know how to fix that, like Wow, okay But hey guys, welcome back to my channel let's talk for a minute before we actually start this routine today we're gonna be doing the whole clean girl aesthetic from the shower all the way up until the hair and the makeup and everything but i kind of wanted to talk about this whole clean girl aesthetic because it seems to have a lot of people riled up why are people so pressed about girls calling themselves clean girls or girls calling themselves that girl or even the rich auntie aesthetic but like i've seen a lot of tweets about for example oh you're not that girl you're just whatever or oh you're not a rich auntie you just have a blazer or rich auntie aesthetic is killing the youth which i agree with a little bit but i have not seen as many hateful tweets as compared to the tweets towards the clean girl aesthetic and i've just been wondering why i just genuinely think that twitter is a toxic place i want to like read some of the tweets of people like just to give you context right before we begin from what i have gathered clean girl aesthetic just basically means minimal makeup usually having your hair up or in a slick bag or in a bun just having your hair you know looking neat usually neutral outfits a lot of the times like you know two pieces or monochrome outfits or just minimal outfits as well small dainty jewelry like small hoops and like little thin chains or necklaces or like watches and stuff like that dainty jewelry that's Sorry, my nephew, <laughs> my nephew is, I don't know what he's doing, but there are a lot of aesthetics that have come up in the era of, you know, social media, especially when it comes to TikTok and YouTube, right? A lot of people are saying that, oh, clean girl aesthetic is backwards, it's so stupid, it's so dumb, like, oh, if you call yourself a clean girl, grow up. But a lot of them will say that the clean girl aesthetic implies that anything else is dirty. You know how silly that sounds? That logic, then that means you're also implying that all the other aesthetics have their opposing aesthetics or the opposite thing with the, the rich anti-aesthetic. Are you saying that the rest of us who, who don't uh, have the rich anti-aesthetic, are you saying that we have poor anti-aesthetic or Instagram baddie? Are you saying that the rest of us who don't look like Instagram baddies or don't dress like Instagram <laughs> or don't dress like Instagram baddies, you see how stupid it sounds, are Instagram ugly girl. Like that's, that's the logic. For example, if I say, oh, I love my body, I love my slim, physique then you have other people who are saying oh so you're saying that other us people who aren't slim we're we're terrible looking or whatever no nobody said that because just because i said that i look good with my physique it doesn't mean that i'm saying that anybody else who doesn't look like me doesn't look good like that's my that's my thing this girl like this girl's got it spot on she says first y'all was ranting about the bbl fashion girls then it was the y2k girls okay that's another aesthetic then it's the clean girl aesthetic. Why do y'all be making whole Twitter threads and TikToks complaining about how another person decides to present themselves? Why is that something that should bother you? The F is a clean girl aesthetic. Do we not all wash our ass? Somebody replies under and says, I think it just means natural makeup look or no makeup at all. I don't see anything wrong with it. Same here. And then the girl responds, it's weird because the, be, there being a clean girl aesthetic insinuates that other aesthetics are dirty. Nobody said that. On top of that, it's so sad because black women's biggest critics are other black women do you know how often we bring each other down the hell is clean girl aesthetic it's giving colorful hair and makeup is dirty and i don't like that if you're boring just say that y'all are missing the damn point if you like colorful hair that's great for you i'm sure it looks good on you but if i like to have my hair black there's nothing wrong with that either you call me boring i just feel like i want my look to be way more simple minimal and all of that it doesn't mean that sometimes i won't you know step out of the box but it just means that like i personally just prefer the minimalism it doesn't mean that i'm saying that i'm better than anybody because i like to have my hair black and i like to have my makeup minimal and i like to wear neutral outfits and then this person says this is a god tier projection y'all are so insecure the clean girl aesthetic literally just means minimalistic it's truly not that serious or deep and i fully agree like what are you actually ranting about? And then also the girls who like to have minimal makeup and black hair, I've seen a lot of them, you know, like femininity coaches, femininity YouTube, they will talk about, oh, you look unkempt, you look 
ratchet. You look whatever when you have long nails and you have flashy hair and makeup and big chains and everything. Like, can we just let black women do what black women want to do? <sighs> so I just want to add this. I know I look crusty right now. Having had this conversation with somebody whose opinion I really care about, I'm starting to understand that it's the name that people are really mad about that gotten people annoyed. The name itself clean girl the implications that it might bring to anybody who does not look like that but the name specifically for the point of oh it's just the name that people are mad about i don't agree but i can understand however i truly feel like it's not that deep it is never that deep as a content creator as a youtuber myself when these things come up and these things you know become popular as a content creator you will want to jump on the trend um because it's a trend to create content I personally feel like the clean girl, what the definition is, is mainly me because I do like the minimalism. I will step outside the box sometimes. Sometimes I might do blonde hair once in a while. But my point is, it's truly not that deep. It really isn't. I look a hot mess right now, guys. Let's let's go. Let's go start this. Let's go start this routine. So obviously, being a clean girl starts in the shower with the clean face and the clean body and the clean coochie and clean everything, okay? So let's get <laughs> clean. Now let's play some music. <laughs> you know what I've been listening to? Big crazy. Taking my baby to school, then I pray for. So I started by washing my face. I'm using this Marula face wash by Iwari. I think that's how you pronounce it. But yeah, it's new to me, so I don't really have anything to say about it just yet. But I do the whole one minute thing where I wash my face for a minute, my face and my neck. And just up until I feel like my face is, you know, clean. This ring here represents my heart But there's just one thing I need from you Say I do Because I can see us holding hands Walking on the beach, our toes in the sand I can see us on the countryside Sitting on the grassland side by side if you're not new to this channel, you know that I always need to start with a bar soap and I'm using my absolute fave, the Beauty Cream Bar, the original one by Dove. I love this stuff so much. I put that on a washcloth and I just basically just wash my whole body. I do it as like a base clean before I do everything else that I do in the shower. That will get rid of all the dirt, sweat, oils, lotions, fragrances. Just get all of that off my body before I do anything else. I love how creamy and moisturizing this bar soap is. It will forever, honestly, I feel like it will forever be my favorite bar soap. And then I just pat myself dry because I prefer to do the next step on damp to dry skin, but rather damp skin. Because I'm shaving today, I needed to exfoliate, so I'm using this balancing body scrub by Sorbet. You guys know how I feel about Sorbet body scrubs, hey? I love them so much. I honestly feel like they're my favorite body scrubs. Um, I love how smooth this stuff makes my skin. You guys look at that glow, okay? A lot of that I owe to exfoliating my body regularly, like twice a week. Also just need to get rid of any dead skin before I shave. You guys know I love shaving with baby oil. Look how empty it is. Oh my gosh, even the tag or oh, the the sticker thingy fell off. Because yeah, I abuse my baby oil, but as one should. It also just makes my body really smooth and it really helps me get a nice clean shave. 
I don't use a lot of shaving creams or shaving foams these days I really just use the oil because I kind of use it as like a barrier but I mean yeah I will start probably getting into shaving creams and foams eventually <laughs> And then that's me laughing at a joke that I just made in my head. I don't even know what I was laughing about, honestly. So specifically after shaving, I really like to use something that's really creamy. And what better to use than a Dove shower gel. This stuff is so nice. This is the coconut milk and jasmine petals shower gel. It smells so good. It feels so nice on my skin. It's one of those shower gels that I will forever repurchase. You guys, it feels amazing. It gets me super clean. And I just really love the way that it smells and the way that it feels and just everything. Like, Dove, please, sponsor me, please. So, when I got out of the shower, I just wet my face again because I always wash my face first in the shower because I just have this thing of like going down rather than washing my face after everything but then the thing about that is that it tends to make your face dry when you when you're doing like all the other things in the shower my face tends to get dry so i just wet my face again when i got out of the shower i use this toner sometimes i actually don't use it every single day this is the click skincare collection rooibos toner and like i said i don't use this every single day i think from like my skincare journey, I don't do a lot with my skin anymore as much as I used to and the reason for that is because Partly because I cleared my skin after years of you know doing different treatments on my skin I finally cleared my skin and now I don't know I think I'm just kind of scared of doing too much But then I think yeah soon I'm gonna start like buying proper skincare products again because where I am I don't even have like proper skincare my face to sort of get rid of the excess dirt that didn't come off in the shower I don't know I have dry skin yeah and I feel like toner makes my skin even drier this is the face moisturizer that I use I haven't always used this but once I learned that this is okay for my face I've been using only this I used to use Johnson's I used to use Nivea I think I still have the Nivea this is the Vaseline dry skin repair with oat extract I'm not sure about oat being good for your face because sometimes I get a little skeptical of having like a scent on my face but then it's very 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 lightly scented I've been doing it for a while all I know is that it moisturizes my face if you want to correct me you can do so I am always open to tips as much as I give you guys tips, I'm also open to tips from you guys. And that's my skincare routine. A lot of y'all ask me this. I don't know why I say a lot of y'all when actually the ones who actually ask me the most questions about anything to do with face care or anything like that. Okay, anyway, a lot of y'all, when I say a lot of y'all, I'm usually talking about people on TikTok. I don't know why in my mind, like I just assume that people who follow my TikTok also follow me on here, but I just realized that can't be the case because I have four times the number of people on my TikTok than I have on YouTube. So it can't be that all of you. Anyway, when I say a lot of you guys, just know that I'm talking about YouTube and TikTok. Anyway, I'm gonna stop the ceiling. <laughs> but follow my TikTok. If I'm not being active on here, I'm definitely active on there. And if I'm not active on there, I'm definitely active on here. I'm trying to find a balance, okay? Also follow my um, Instagram at queen of body care i just started that one up but i'm trying to like get it up and running i also have my main account maxine jalen just maxine jalen no underscore or anything follow both follow all three follow my maxine jalen on tiktok and instagram and then also follow queen of body care on instagram because i am gonna start putting way 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 more content up there i think i've only posted like two things <laughs> but yeah i'm dedicating this week to creating content for youtube instagram and tiktok so make sure that you are following so i'm thinking of this being the lineup for today sorry this doesn't make any sense this perfume is definitely my go-to when i when i just want to smell fresh and clean this is lancome's la vie belle on hose it's super super fresh and a little bit fruity a little bit floral it's really 
really nice and fresh and just kind of matches the whole clean girl thing that we're going for and then this is pomegranate and rose hip oil by oh so heavenly i just got the body cream recently but i've always used the body lotion i honestly love this stuff it's also a go-to when i feel like smelling specifically fresh because i think that smelling fresh is synonymous with smelling clean so um yeah i would like to use this today i also use some bio oil and some playgirl deodorant but i might change it up we'll see um apologies if the camera is like if it's i don't know slanted one way i can't even tell which way my tripod has problems please watch my ads so that i can <laughs> buy a new tripod a, a good one this time which i'm gonna start with some bio oil i'm gonna put that under my eye on this scar that i have it's really helped with this scar here i like to use this on my specifically my underarms and my legs just to i guess even out the skin tone there oh that feels so good when i just shaved usually i would mix my body creams or lotions with baby oil on a normal day but i don't want to put on two oils I'm not spraying that deodorant on my underarms. I just realized on my armpits, I mean, I just realized that I just shaved and that would not be good. All right, so the next thing that I'm gonna use is the pomegranate and rose hip oil body cream. Love this stuff, love this stuff so much. It just looks so good. It smells so good. It's really, really, really good. Like, where is my Dove deodorant? That's what I need to be using, not a spray because, girl. have asked me if the correct order is the oil before the lotion or after I don't know girl the reason that I usually will put baby oil under is so that the scent of the lotion can stick on the on my skin and linger on my skin and also so that I'm I feel like I'm moisturized under the lotion you can do it the other way around because the other way around also just kind of means that you're also looking for that glue and that extra moisturization and maybe you're trying it's like you're trying to set a like setting spray for your body care. I don't know. Can I tell you something funny? So last year, and this is not me. I'm not the type of person who says that, like, who would say that somebody's copying me unless I really, 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 truly believe it. But it's just kind of funny to me that last year I did a body care routine. And, you know, I'm always doing these how to smell good routines, right? That's literally what my whole channel is about right so i did this how to smell good routine there's a big influencer that i watch and that i really look up to and she's south african i said something in that video i said this is a video by the way something about i said something about oil because in that video i was talking about oh how to make your scents last longer and how to make them stick on your body especially when you're not using like expensive stuff and I said, you know, use oil. Or what did I say? I said use, was it use oil or something like that? Because I said, I just made a joke. I was like, oh, it's like setting spray for your body care. And that was like, that's something that I'd never heard before. And I don't believe that it's a, an original thought. I'm pretty sure somebody else has thought of it and somebody else has said it. But I haven't heard anybody else say it. And I posted that video that one week. I'm still a very small YouTuber, but that video got a lot of views for my channel, right? It's now still one of my most viewed videos. This influencer that I watch and that I still love, it's not like I, you know, cancelled her after that. But then she did a, a How to Smell Good video and that's the only one on her channel like she doesn't do that sort of content and i've been watching her for years so i know that she doesn't do that content she was like yeah and then i i put some oil over because it's like setting spray for your body care and i was like that sounds very familiar because i posted that video one week and then the next week she posted that video and obviously that video blew up has so many views and whatever it's fine but then like i was like that sounds familiar and a lot of the things that i had said in my video that had just thingy she said in her video and i'm not saying that i don't even think she knows who i am i don't think she knows i exist but what a coincidence and it's not just her i'm saying that a lot of big influencers a lot of big youtubers content creators they tend to watch very small influencers to get to gain some inspiration and then they go and then instead of you know you know, they wouldn't give you a shout out. They wouldn't say, oh, I got this idea from this person or whatever. They will just do the video. They will not say that, oh, like this, I was inspired by this person. They won't say that. They would just, you know, use your tips and use the same exact things that you are saying. Because since they're a big influencer, they will believe that, oh, 
They're gonna think that I came up with this first because I'm the bigger one. People, more people are gonna see mine. So if they ever see that person, they're gonna be like, oh, that person copied this person. And that's something that I've seen a lot, like in the beauty community, the girls who do like makeup and stuff on YouTube. Yo, I've seen big influencers copy smaller ones. And for me, I don't care about your follow account. If I really like your content, I will follow, right? So so you tend to see these things, like when, especially when there's a trend. Like for example, this clean girl aesthetic. They're a clean girl aesthetic makeup video or whatever. That really big influencer will go and they'll say the same exact thing and make you believe that they came up with that but they didn't and i feel like that's really messed up because personally i feel like every time i do get get inspiration from somebody i will mention it and if i don't mention it most likely it'll be in the bio but for the most part i will mention it or i'll say a lot of youtubers have done this because i can't pinpoint one person for example shower therapy i got that idea from Melissa ashley when she used to do makeup videos she used to do makeup therapy so now i do shower therapy like a lot of my big um inspirations like for me to actually you know feel comfortable posting my self-care content because i wasn't always posting self-care content because at first i thought nobody wanted to watch it or whatever until i started posting it and people liked it anyway my biggest inspirations were people like chloe yasmin Haley gamba living ash or even savannah marie on tiktok because it's only right like as content creators so many people copy us Brands can watch our videos and copy us and will never even know. There's like a hierarchy. They, a lot of people think because they have way more followers, they're able to do certain things and not get called out on it. I think that it's wrong. Uh, anyway, uh, I'm rambling. Let's, let's do some makeup. All right, I'm just gonna spray this now on my pulse points. Let me actually come a little bit closer so that you guys can actually see what's going on over here so this is my take on clean girl makeup i've been breaking out in here i don't like that because this is genuinely my almost everyday makeup look i just feel like this is the clean girl aesthetic and not that anything else is dirty no <laughs> i brush my eyebrows up get some concealer I don't even know if this is a concealer brush here. Eh? I just know that it's a brush. So then I sort of like just carve my eyebrows out but without actually using any pencil. All right, let me just show you. Ooh, I need to get my eyebrows done, child. brows are supposed to be sisters not twins i am not the greatest at makeup i'm just good at how i like my makeup to look i guess but i'm also kind of learning i'm literally just i've literally just recently started um watching makeup tutorials again so that i can you know figure out how i want you know my makeup to look and the best products and stuff like that because I had a period where I wasn't wearing makeup at all, like for months, I did not even touch foundation, mainly because I just wanted my skin to breathe. Then when I started wearing foundation again and like trying to beat my face again, I looked a hot mess because I like, you know, practice makes perfect. And when you haven't done something in a while, sometimes, you know, it tends to look a little <laughs> not good. I dropped this in the club and <laughs> yeah that happened and then i go and sort of just very very lightly like with really light strokes fill that in not too dark because i just i genuinely don't like a dark eyebrow but all the only pencils that i have right now are super dark and then i just brush them out again make it look a little bit more natural and not too carved out and then i will like get a little brush and just sort of try to blend that out i will like try to keep brushing it out so that it kind of spreads instead of just staying dark on a few spots and then i'll use two um concealers so th these are both NYX or NYX. I guess they stopped selling them in SA, but then this uh, is the NYX or N NYX NYX Born to Glow um, concealer. I have it in the shade 
neutral tan and mocha so mocha is literally my shade just slightly slightly darker so not dark enough for a contour shade and this is just a little bit lighter do that and then I'll use the darker one in the middle Especially because like now nowadays I do like to cover up my scar. Right, excuse the dirty ass sponge. I just did my makeup yesterday and I didn't clean it. Then I'll go over it with the brush as well just to give it a little bit of a better blend. And then I'm using this LA Girl powder in the shade Classic Tan. Yeah. I love these blending brushes, these brushes that I got from the skim. I just use them, I mean I just hold them, already. I just hold them in my Discam hole, so you guys should check that out. They're so good, I love, 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 love how soft they are and how well they blend. I just realized I was supposed to do my edges as well. Okay, I'll do my edges just now. Okay, okay. We're getting there. And then I'm using this old blush that I have. This is Catrice Cosmetics blush. The Break the Rules, I don't know, blush box in burgundy. I love this blush so, so much. Not too much, just enough to put a little color in my face. I can't believe I went so long without blush. I missed blush, I love having blush on with this blending brush which is also from that same brush set that i just told you guys about from the skin i think it's the brand is kala sala kala <laughs> this is the rimmel or is it rimmel or rimmel london insta fix and go um primer and setting spray so it's a two-in-one i do not use it as primer i only use it as setting spray And then we need some mascara. This is Essence Get Big Lashes Volume Curl Mascara. So it's the red one. I need to get a new bottle. And I also need to buy a curling, curling tool. I need to do that also ASAP. I just like how it just like really, really boosts your lashes. But then yeah, you do need, a, you need to curl your lashes just before you use this. Otherwise, you know, it's gonna look a hot mess, like how my left eye is looking right now, at least the right one looks fine. My boyfriend was saying, okay, so he saw my, my, my scar, so, um, he was capping me because he saw my scar for the first time, like, in person, um, my scar under my eye. I was like, did you see my scar? And he was like, yeah, it doesn't look that bad. Just that you lost your lashes down there. <laughs> he was saying that I don't have eyelashes down here, and I'm like, that's not true because I actually do. They're there. They just shy. I don't care if this is clean girl or not, but one thing about me is I'm gonna line my lips with some brown liner. I don't know if I should use the one that I just used. On my on my eyebrows, I should probably use a different one. You guys, I just got a call that my Shein order just got here. So, I'm super excited. Right, use some brown liner and line up them lips girl. This is like the ultimate black girl lip. <laughs> okay, then I'm gonna use this Smudge Cosmetics lip gloss in whatever color this is, it doesn't say. It's just like a thick pinkish purple color, but pink. Well, I'd say it's leaning towards peach slightly, but it's, it's pink. I need to go shopping for like just lip gloss. And then again, I'm using another smudge lip gloss. This is, I don't know what color it is, doesn't say what shade it is, but it's a pink, very glossy one. That one is more, a little more matte. It's glossy, yes, but then it's not too glossy. That one is more thick consistency. This is um, a glossy pink, a more clearer pink than that. Like that one is just pink. I don't know if that makes sense, but. So I don't know if I've lost the plot when it comes to clean girl. I don't think I've lost the plot. 
I think we still got it over here. All right, let me quickly do my edges off camera. How are y'all feeling about the look? About the fit? I'm gonna go iron this after, but I'm actually not even <laughs> going anyway. Okay, I am going somewhere. But then I'm gonna change the skirt if I am, if I am going somewhere. I have to go pick up my order. For me, the clean girl is sort of like dainty, very dainty jewelry. I would usually wear gold, but yeah, um, I just felt like wearing silver also because the skirt, the buttons are silver, so I was just like, might as well. Plus, I actually don't have a very simple gold chain to wear, so I just started to wear silver. And the hair is back, tied back with this cute scrunchie that I got from Waba. She got it for me, it's so cute. She got me a bunch of pink things. Um, and she surprised me at grad, but that was, that was so sweet. I do not have anything silver to wear on my wrists. I literally only have a bunch of gold stuff to wear on my wrists, and I do not like mixing. So this is the fit, um, wearing a tank top. This is from The Fix. Um, I got the two for one special a while back. I can't even remember when that was. I'm wearing this. This is Mr. Price. And then the skirt is also Mr. Price from a long, long time ago as well. The jewelry, I can't remember where the jewelry is from. Probably just some random store. Like, I, I really cannot remember. Again, scent of the day. I'm wearing um, La Via Belle on hose. Oh, La Via Belle on hose. I also just got lip gloss on the top, so ignore that. Yeah, oh, I smell so nice. So this is the fit. Well, let me do this. I would wear this, I'm wearing slides right now, but I would wear this with white trainers. Oh, I just got these pink and white trainers that I haven't worn yet. But since I haven't worn them, I don't think I'm gonna wear them today because I need to break them in first. I don't know, I just have to do that. I would carry a white bag with this, but let me show you what just happened to my white bag that happened so yeah that kind of sucks not even kind of that just sucks like this bag is such shit quality and the reason why i would wear this shit over is not because of clean girl but i mean it's mainly because of you know the whole clean girl aesthetic that we're going for but also because like this is the tank top and on its own i don't really like how like it just I don't want to wear a jacket because it's quite warm today, but then I also don't want to wear, um, I don't want to just have it out like this because I kind of feel weird. So I'll just like have like a little, you know, shirt over and yeah. So what do you guys think? I love how the makeup looks. This is definitely my everyday um, go-to makeup look. So it's not necessarily just clean girl for me. This is literally my everyday makeup so yeah my nails need to be done i know that please don't come for me i already know that they have grown out i'm surprised these ones are all still on this one came off but yeah uh girl <laughs> but yeah guys that's the look i am aware that this video was probably really long but i don't mind i hope that you guys don't mind either thank you guys so much for watching this video i really enjoyed filming it i i enjoy hanging out with you guys even though you're not actually in front of me. Also, thank you guys so much for 4,000 subscribers. I was literally like screaming when I saw. Um, so now I can finally say road to 5K or I can say road to 10K. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Thank you for all of the support and all of the love. Um, I've been trying my best to be very consistent because I'm dedicating the rest of this year to growing my channel. I have big plans for this channel in the, in the future. And I would really, really like for you guys that haven't subscribed to come and join and for all of you guys that have subscribed to continue watching and continue with me on the journey. And yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Don't forget to give it a like if you haven't. Subscribe if you haven't already. And let us chat in the comments. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Baby, you don't know what you do to me. Between me and you, I feel like chemistry. I won't let no one come and take your place. Cause the love you